Have you figured out Diego Pacheco? Him against Terrence Crawford. You think that's a fight that could actually? Yes, I think. I think they. Who else are they going to fight? They don't have any other opponents. How do you figure out Diego Pacheco's name? He's been waiting. Yeah, uh, El Nino. But isn't there a few people called El Nino? No, but he. You were supposed to give El him El Nino. That's but what you're going to give is him. That, it's a bit no. obvious, isn't it? No? no. No? He doesn't like that. Okay, I'll hey, work on that. Eddie, talk to us about eight days from now. Obviously, you just spoke on your fighter, then Jacobs. And I'll tell you, all I have to say is this. Very tough unification. Mexico won tonight, but not next Saturday. <laughs> Trust me. In regards to Crawford. Is he competitive with Crawford, or is he seen better? He can, but he's, it's tough for him to make 147, and Crawford's a great fighter. But, you know, in terms of availability for challenges, Kell Brook's a great fighter, and, you know, he, he, he likes the fight. In regards to that fight, is it going to be in the UK or America? Probably America. Yeah. Are you looking to make a unification fight with uh, Maurice Hooker and you know, yes. Jose Ramirez? Or yeah, we made an offer to top rank. We're in discussions with top rank for that fight in July. There's other fights out. He's ready for a big fight, Maurice Hooker. I like Mikey Garcia against Maurice Hooker as well. I think 140 is going to be the natural place for Mikey to sit right now. And I think, why not fight Maurice Hooker in Texas? And the 140 pounders are fighting on the zone. Mm. Is that another? Well, you've got the, the, the Super Series coming on. Right. So Josh Taylor's fighting Barancic, exactly. made the 18. The winner's going to come out with two belts. We've got the WBO. So all the belts really will be on the zone, apart from the WBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all good.